Primus, we understand, too, was ill during the week with the... A flu. second successive opportunity to make September. A trip to Brisbane to face the Lions under the Gabba lights has proved a tough task for many of the AFL's most seasoned teams, let alone one in only match number 20. Port arrived in Brisbane with weary legs after the slogging encounter with the Crows, yet a quarter time, thanks to straight kicking, led by a point. The power looks superb in the second term, adding another four goals. At the break, they led by 29 points. Great start by Port. And it will come back. It's a free kick going the way of Port, and it's going against Alistair Lynch. A couple of bad defensive errors by Lynch, again, turning the ball over with that Shepherd. Meade's kick is high in towards Cummings. He can't take the mark. He needs support, and he's got it. The snap in towards goal is an absolute beauty. Wow. So Port hit back. Gives it off to Franco. So Port Power come forward inside 50. They need a mark. Cummings was pushed out of the way. Chance at ground level Squire for goal number two. And he's banged it through. So he's come off the bench for two goals. Dick Foss breaks, Gowers breaks, but he decides to go straight down the middle towards Green. Fletcher there also. Oh, waiting down in front is Brewer. Off to Lyle. Here's a chance for the power. Lyle goals. And they stretch their lead. The third quarter undid a lot of the good work. While Port struggled kicking 3-5, Brisbane hammered home eight goals. One of the most contentious issues of the match, this goal to Shane Brewer. Was it or wasn't it? And wobbling, wobbling. I think it's there. It's a Port goal. Wilson. He's got it, there's no doubt. Laid gives it across towards Dickey. He can't quite take it cleanly on the half volley, but recovers well to Lyle, who looks down to Wanganeen. Thought about going off. And then suddenly looked round, and there was Chrissy Johnson. Beautiful kick to Brown, who drifted down into the pocket, and he's now going to have a shot. 35 metres out. Here's the kick from Brown. He bends it back beautifully and scores another one for the power. The margin again just one point at the last break. Once again, Port's fleet of running players led by Wanganeen produced the goods. The final quarter, one of the most exciting for the year. With 13 seconds to go, scores were level. This will give Port a chance to man up. So McRae does the right thing. He bombs it long. The high flyers. Big pack of players at the back. Bradshaw can kick it off the ground. Did he get his foot to the ball? It's up to the goal. Brisbane oh. think he has. He's got it. That goal to the Brisbane rookie Bradshaw produced the only draw of the home and away season. And what a costly result it was. Ultimately, it would cost Port a place in the finals. To draw the game, I, I didn't know whether the laugh or smile, Max, uh, but in hindsight, I think that was a good effort to draw. To go up there and come away without losing was a good effort, and I was happy with the draw and the finish. The first draw for Port. Cummings four, Franku, Brown and Squire two each. Franku, Bond and Brown the best. His kick also a little scrubby. Richmond at the MCG under new coach Jeff Geeshan finished the season in a flurry. Among the scalps for the Tigers would be Port Adelaide. This was a match that...